So if I have a circuit and I want to find out the power across any given component, then I should use I square R or V square upon R or V I. Question is that when I should go with I square R, when I should go with V square upon R and when I should go with V times I. In today's video, I am going to clear this doubt for you. Now the first thing first, you can make use of I square R, V square upon R and V I in any circuit to find out the power. Two things that you need to keep in mind is that the first thing you have to apply this formula correctly. Most of the people apply these formula in a very wrong way and they get wrong results. So you have to take care of the components and you have to take care that when I am saying I, when I am saying V, which of the voltage and current I am talking about. Once you take care of these things, you are not going to get any different result, whatever the formula you make use of. The second thing is that you have to see that which one is going to simplify the problem, which one is going to you know take the less amount of time that is also very much important. So today I'm going to show you with the help of a few examples that uh, will clear this idea for you. So let's say I have a circuit where two resistors are connected in series. I'm talking about a series circuit first. So there is a series circuit where two resistors 2 and 3 ohm are connected in series across a voltage source let's say it is a 10 volt source right now i want to find out the power across this 2 ohm resistor by using i square r technique so what i need to do so first of all i have to calculate i i will be how much it will be equal to 10 divided by the total value of the resistor 2 plus 3 5 and this will give me 2 amps so the circuit current is 2 ampere now understand that in a series circuit, the source current or the circuit current is equal to the current across any of the given resistors. So the current across 2 ohm will be same, across 3 ohm will be same. And if there is any other resistor connected in series, the current will remain the same. Right. So I can say safely that the current across 2 ohm resistor is equal to the source current. So if I want to calculate P across 2 ohm, so that will be I square R, that means 2 square times R that is 2 and this will give me 8 watt right if I want to calculate P across 3 ohm the same thing I can do just that I have to multiply 3 this time and it will give me 12 watt right so you see that with the I square R we simply calculated the value of power dissipation across the 2 and 3 ohm in this case now if I want to make use of V square upon R then what I should do so in case of V square upon R, first of all, you have to calculate the V across 2 ohm, which is not the source voltage because in a series circuit, what happens? The source voltage is not equal to the voltage across the resistor. The voltage across the resistors are divided in the in proportion to the value of their resistance and the current remains the same. So the current remains the same throughout the circuit, but the voltage changes. Right. So by voltage division method, we can calculate the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor, which we, which is given by source voltage 10 multiplied by the value of the resistor that is 2 and divided by the sum of the total resistance in the circuit that is 2 plus 3, 5. And I will get this as 4 volt. So the voltage across 2 ohm resistor is 4 volt. And therefore, I can say that the voltage across 3 ohm resistor is 6 volt because the voltage is divided in 2 and 3 ohm in their proportion. So we get the voltage equal to 4 volt. Now just square it up because V square upon R. So V, v square is 4 square upon value of the resistor that is 2 and I will get the same thing that is 8 watt because 4 square is 16 upon 2 and it is 8 watt. Similarly for 3 ohm resistor you can make use of the voltage division rule. If I show you by v, uh, voltage division so it will be 10 times 3 upon 5 this time and this will give me what? This is going to give me 6 volt, right? So 6 square is 36. If I do 6 square, it is 36 divided by 3. This is going to give me the same result, 12 watt. And this is the same thing we got here, right? So that's why I said that it doesn't matter whether you use I square R or you uh, are going to use V square upon R, it doesn't matter. But the question comes when to use I square R. Now you can clearly see that in this case, 
The problem was really simple because we just calculated the source current and as the source current remains same across 2 ohm and 3 ohm that is in a series circuit the current remains the same and it is equal to the source current therefore we calculated I we squared it and we can multiply any value of the resistance let's say here 2 and 3 I have shown if there are 4, 5, 6, 7 any number of resistors are there I can calculate it by using I square R but in case of V square upon R it is not that we are not able to calculate but we have to find the value of the voltage of individual resistor so I calculated V of 2 ohm I calculated V of 3 ohm if there are any more resistor I have to calculate the voltage across that resistor and then I will be able to make use of V square upon R V here doesn't represent the source voltage V represents the voltage of that individual resistor across which I am trying to calculate the power so that is very much important that is uh, really important to understand that in case of series circuit I square R is the recommended technique to go about now let us talk about a parallel circuit so there are two resistors connected in parallel let's say the same two resistors 2 and 3 ohm are now connected in parallel across 10 volt source right so this is 2 ohm and this is 3 ohm in this case what is the first thing that you are you are observing so the first thing that comes to mind is that V across 2 ohm is equal to V across 3 ohm because this is a parallel circuit and it is equal to 10 volt that is the source voltage so as the voltage across 2 ohm, 3 ohm or any other let's say resistor is there, any other resistor if connected over here, the voltage remains the same across all of them. So I can here I can make use of V square upon R. Why? Because V is known and I have just to calculate V square and then I will divide it by the value of the resistor. So here V square is 100 because 10 is V equal to 10 so V square is 100 and R is 2 so I will get 50 watt right similarly I can calculate for 3 ohm and the case is very simple so in case of a parallel circuit you should make use of V square upon R now is it that I will not be able to make use of I square R no it's not like that you can make use of I square R let me show you how so I want to calculate I by I square R the power across this 2 ohm resistor so I means the current going through this 2 ohm resistor and not the source current so current going through this 2 ohm resistor how I can calculate so I will be given by the value of the voltage V upon resistance value that is 2 and 10 upon 2 is 5 amps. Now I square R therefore means if I calculate P across 2 ohm. So I square R is equal to 5 square that is 25 times value of the resistor 2 and you will get the 50 watt same result same result right here you got the 50 watt so here you can see that you can make use of I square R but the thing is that you have to calculate the individual branch current you calculated this branch then you will calculate current across this branch and if any more branches are over here like let's say like this so you will calculate one more branch and this will keep on going so instead of calculating current and uh, going through such a complex process what you can do simply is that you can uh, take the voltage square it up and divide it keep on dividing by the value of the resistor to calculate the value of the power across that resistor right now the question comes when I should use V times I when V times I should be used so V times I should be used in a circuit where you don't know the configuration of the circuit so let's say there is a DC motor like this there's a DC motor okay now in a DC motor you don't know what is the circuit inside in a practical situation you are not seeing the circuit you are not going to calculate individual resistor so what you can do is that you just connect a voltmeter over here in parallel right you can you connect a voltmeter and you connect an ammeter in series okay an ammeter will give you the value of the current I a voltmeter will give you the value of the voltage and therefore you can calculate the power by using V times I so in a practical situation we make use of V times I you can also make use of V times I in this kind of circuit so let's say like this circuit is there so 10 volt is the voltage and current is we calculated over here right so 10 times 5 it will also give you the same result 50 watt but again you have to calculate the current over here in this circuit you similarly we will have to calculate the voltage here you can see that it is 4 volt right so 4 volt across 2 ohm resistor I am talking about so 4 times the current that is 2 amps and you will get 8 
right so the answer remains the same but you have to calculate either the voltage or the current here in this kind of circuit where you don't know the resistor then you can make use of v times i in case of ac circuit we calculate vi cos phi because cos phi is a factor called power factor but i'm not going into that so in this kind of practical situation you can make use of vi another uh, point where you can make use of vi is that in a circuit where you don't definitely know whether it is a series circuit or a parallel circuit it is a mixed kind of circuit so either you simplify this kind of circuit into a series circuit or a parallel circuit first and make use of uh, i square r or v, uh, v square upon r or what you can simply do is that you can calculate the voltage at this node let's say if i'm talking about this resistor i want to find the uh, value of power across this resistor so i will calculate the voltage across this resistor by using kvl and i will calculate the current through this loop and this loop by kcl and therefore i will know the uh, current through that resistor so by kvl i will get v by kcl i will get i and v times i will give me the power across that resistor right so you see that in any of the cases it is not different you can make use of any of these methods to calculate the power it's just that which one is going to take less time right so i hope in this video i was able to make you clear uh, about uh, the differences between i square r v square upon r and vi in terms of their usage and um, in terms of their effectiveness if you have any doubt any feedback any suggestion or any query you can put them in the comment section below i will be happy to help you with that share this video with your friends if you find it to be helpful like this video and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already you can also hit the bell icon to receive the notification of every single video that i am making this is vivek and i will see you next time